Hello my friends and welcome to the studio. As you know, the, the big studio upstairs is still under construction, on hold actually, because some things are going wrong. So all I can do at the moment, luckily, is just sit here in the B studio, make music, work on new songs. And I actually already shared a song with you. It's called You Get To Me. That's the one I want to focus on today. And to motivate myself, something that always helps, is getting new plugins and playing around with them, testing them, integrating them into my workflow, using them on a song and this way approach and kind of make yourself produce even more. You got me high, higher than the mountains up. You got me Today, because it was on sale and it was already convinced by the reverb, it's by Denise Audio God Mode, a distortion saturation plugin. The reverb I tested a couple of weeks ago became my go-to reverb for most of the stuff I do. So I'm really expecting a lot by this distortion plugin. So um, yeah, let's just open it up. The layout is again very simple, straightforward, easy to use and fast. At the very bottom you got the presets, you can just click through them load them, save them. Then we got pull, more on that in a bit because I think that's like what makes it the most special. Actually like in a nutshell, it's doing something similar to the pull tag EQ where you could um, lower or cut a certain frequency and at the same time boost it and this way you get like a, a special sound that is hard to describe. You'll hear it in the audio examples. Then dry and wet, I don't have to explain those as well as makeup. We also got a post high pass and low pass and the mix knob to just dial in how much of the effect is, is audible. And then we got again high pass, low pass for the pre actually. The randomize button, my favorite by far. I wish every single plugin would integrate a random button because you never know what you'll get and sometimes it just fits perfectly and sometimes it does something you would never ever come up any other way. So I sometimes just click on these random buttons. Some synthesizers also have them and it's always a surprise. The next one is the side tape. More on that in a bit because that's also very special, the pull and the side tape. Then we got tape, that's like the tape distortion the warp, you can also dial in here, the percentage and the bus. Those three are giving like the main character to the sound. And then right above it, we have actually like an EQ built into it. And we can with this, like exactly tell the plugin which frequencies should be distorted and which shouldn't. So you, you kind of give an EQ input on what should be affected and whatnot. You got your gain and your Q factor settings for every single band. But let's maybe just like test it while like listening to stuff. I love to use distortion on my bass lines. I got here one that I made with Omnisphere. Made with Omnisphere is probably the, the wrong thing to call it because Omnisphere is mostly like going through presets. But a bass line I really love. And I first have the distortion on. So let's maybe play you the, the dry, unprocessed baseline. And I then started shaping it, um, a little bit of side chaining, OTT, reverb of course, and then the distortion plugin. pull again, like gets it kind of back in check again in a very special way. Heavy distortion with warp and buzz to 50%. And again here you can hear and see the pull is kind of counteracting what the cueing does. But it still leaves you with a different sound, with a like less distorted, still distorted, controlled kind of sound. Mm -hmm. 
And if you dial it up all the way to 100%, it counteracts almost everything that it does. But it's still different than if you bypass it. So um, again, it's like this pull tech kind of effect that you hear and see a lot. And I love that it's like built in, so you can just like pull basically it back down again. But let's actually find a setting that, that works with the space line. I think I actually found a setting that I like. Let's uh, listen to it with and without. Gives it that bite and a bit more attack and emphasis. And I think in the mix, it actually works quite well. If you listen to it solo, it sounds already like it's a little too much, but you actually need those frequencies and the attack to cut through all of the other elements. So let's maybe add the kick to it. some of the other drum elements. That song actually already also has vocals on top, but they're still fully unmixed. And in the vocals, I got a bunch of vocals, actually, like all of these tracks are just vocals. I got one in their main low, which is a down-pitched version of the vocal. Added with the main vocal. And what I really love is like to distort the lower vocal a little, to make it crispier, crunchier, get more attack and pop a little in the mix. Although not making it too loud, because it's just like an added layer. It shouldn't be like audible right away. So um, let's put the distortion on. <laughs> Then what's actually also really handy is the side tape function. You can feed a side chain into the distortion plugin. So whenever something is playing, it's triggering the side chain and it's actually controlling the amount of distortion on that sound. So for example, you could like have a drum loop, put the distortion on, have a vocal drive it and then get a rhythmic effect on the drums that are distorted or on a vocal. Like there are a lot of creative ways to actually use it. For my type of music, it's probably a little too wild, but um, it's nice to have. And then also something really creative, you can um, pan dry and wet actually. Let's test that really quick. <laughs> So you can basically decide which channel gets more of the dry or wet. This way you could have the left channel distorted, the right one not, or set it up somewhere in between. Uh, also for my type of music, probably I, I wouldn't want a sound to be distorted on one side and the other not, because this might actually sound like a mistake. But again, for creative purposes, it's nice to have. The makeup gain is a little sensitive like you just move it a tiny bit and it increases by a lot i wish this would be like dialed down i also think 48 db of makeup is not necessary but all in all i love the the eq functionality built in the pull sounds really really nice gives you 
certain amount of control you don't get from any other plugin. The tape, warp and bus, they sound really good to me. It's a matter of taste. Like it, we're really here in a part where it's like up to your preference. I would just suggest as with every single plugin, if you're interested, download the test version, test it out for yourself, see if it actually improves your music. And if it does, then, then buy it. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'll link it down below in the description. I will now just like try to work a little more on this track and hopefully, hopefully, get it closer to finishing it because so far I'm not really happy with it like the general idea is still not set I'm, I'm very far from like mixing actually or arranging the song as you can see so far it's just like a loop and I'm trying to create something that actually fits to the vocal so wish me a lot of luck again if you're interested check out the link in the description and tomorrow we'll see us again back here in the studio with more music production of course to you.